All right, today we're going to be talking about the 10 top habits of healthy people. So these are the 10 habits that have made the biggest difference in my life and helped me become the healthiest version of me that I have ever been. And it's really going to help you do exactly the same. So let's jump straight in. Number one is people who are healthy take responsibility for their health. Really important. So they're not blaming other people. They're not blaming things. They're not blaming different foods. Okay. They take responsibility for their health. Number two, they also prioritize their health. So that generally means they have really good habits in their morning and evening routines, okay? So it might be that they prioritize their mental health in the morning, maybe their physical health in the afternoon or after work, okay? But they prioritize their health. Number three is they create routines and schedules, all right, around their health and they do not cancel, all right? So they create routines and schedules. So it's all about booking in those group classes, those sessions. It's about making that time for the gym, making that time for your rehab, making that time, you know, maybe make an appointment with a physio when you have uh, a soreness or an injury or something that needs to be addressed and not just ignoring it and accepting it as normal, okay? So they're taking responsibility for their health, they're prioritizing their health, and now they're creating, you know, a schedule and a routine they don't cancel on that, okay? Yes, sometimes things are going to come up, you know, that you aren't able to um, ignore or maybe you need to move or shift some things, but they don't cancel it. They might reschedule, but they do not cancel, all right? Um, the next thing is a mindfulness practice. So developing a mindfulness practice is so important for your health it's not just going to affect your physical health, it's your mental health that you're really focusing on, but it really helps you with your physical health as well. So developing some kind of mindfulness practice. For me, that might be journaling. Okay, so majority of the days I'm going to journal, if not every single day, sometimes twice a day. Maybe it might be meditation for you, maybe it might be yoga, it could be something. But every single day, all right, they make sure that they have their mindfulness practice scheduled and done, all right? The next thing is all about consistency, all right? So as we go through our, our days, um, we, we go through times where we feel more inspired or more motivated than others, and that's okay. It's very, very normal. So it's all about consistency. Healthy people do not fall off the wagon. They do not get back on the wagon, okay? They might trip over. They might fall over, but they get up and they get straight back on their path, okay? They don't give up. They don't wait four days. They don't wait for Monday. They don't wait for the weekend to be over. They choose better in every single moment because every choice they make, it makes a big difference. Okay. So it's all about that consistency of making sure that once you make a slight, you know, judgment error, that you get straight back on afterwards and you don't have to recorrect. You don't have to punish yourself. You just have to get back on and choose better next time. That's it, right? There's no guilt around it. The next thing is all about support. So they have support. They have a community. They have a group. They have a coach, whatever it might be. They have people around them who support them full force, wholeheartedly supporting them and their goals. So you want to make sure that you are supporting yourself with people who are encouraging to you, not people who always encourage you to get takeaway, who always encourage you to, oh, you know, you don't need to work out today. Support yourself with people who have your best interest at heart, who aren't telling you to not work out or to get takeaway so that they can feel better that they're also doing it, but that you're doing it with them. And that makes them feel a little bit better. Don't let other people's self-sabotage affect your goals. Surround yourself with people who want your best from you. All right. The next thing is healthy people. All right. Successful, healthy people know their goals. They don't just float through life unknowingly just doing everything willy nilly. They know exactly what their goals are. They know exactly what their wants are. And they really define what that is. 80%, I think it is the statistics, 80% of people do not write goals. I think it's maybe even 90%. It's probably like, it's, I think it's a lot. Like it's really high. I reckon it's somewhere between 80 and 99% of people do not set goals, right? I can't remember the actual statistics, but I think it's, it's somewhere between, I think it's 80 and 90% who do not set a goal. And it's between, I think 90 and 100%. Somewhere in there, I think it's like really high, like 99% of people don't actually write their goals down. All right. 
Successful, healthy people write their goals down. First of all, they decide what their goals are, which most people don't know. They have a vague idea of, I just want to lose weight. That's not going to help, okay? You need to know what your goal is specifically, right? I want to lose five kilos by November for my sister's wedding, whatever it might be, right? You want to make sure that you know your goal and it is concrete, it is specific, and it is achievable, all right? It's not, I'm going to lose 50 kilos. You probably don't have 50 kilos to lose, all right? So it's making sure that you have set a goal, all right? You know it and you set it. The next step follows on from that. You make a plan and you do it, all right? So it's really kind of, these all feed into each other, right? It's about creating your routines and your schedules and not canceling on yourself. So you really make that plan and you do it. So you plan out your weeks and you realize, where am I going to be, you know, focusing on my mindset? Where am I going to be focusing on my physical health? Where am I focusing on my nutritional health? So maybe you're um, scheduling time for meal prep on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Maybe you're scheduling time for your workouts every evening at 6 p.m. Maybe you're making time every single morning between 7 and 7.30 to do your meditation, your journaling, or some kind of mindset practice, making sure that you have a plan of exactly how you're going to achieve these goals, and then you do it. All right? All right, number nine is healthy people, successful healthy people are proactive, and they make shit happen. All right? So when we talk about proactivity, it's all about making sure that you are in control at all times. It really kind of uh, links into our first Uh, habit, which is take responsibility for your health, right? It's all about being proactive and making shit happen. All right. So you want to make sure that as you go through, you're taking responsibility for your health. You're not blaming other people and that you're really proactive about things. So it's like, if you have a goal of doing something, it's being proactive about how am I going to actually achieve that and working out how you can do that. That's where this plan comes involved, right? You're really proactive about what you need to do and when, all right, you're making those choices every single day. You're not waiting for things to happen to you. You are proactive, all right? And then a final one, which is the most important thing, the number one habit of healthy, successful people is they enjoy the journey, not just the result. Don't get me wrong, enjoying the result is fantastic, okay? So your result might be, you know, running the, uh, you know, a 12 kilometer fun run, fantastic. But it's not just that that they enjoy. They find a way to enjoy the journey, all right? So they find a way to enjoy every single running session to get them all the way to that 12-kilometer fun run. They enjoy every single uh, session that they, you know, they, they shave off one extra second of their time, whatever it might be. They find a way to enjoy the journey, not just the result. So I really hope that these all help for you, all right? And I want you to try and implement them all in your life so that you can become one of those top 10 healthy, successful people. There's probably only about 10% of people in the world that are, you know, in, in these top, that, that are doing these top 10 habits. So to finish off, they are number one, take responsibility for your health. Number two, prioritize your health. All right. So this means your, um, your, your mental, your physical and your nutritional health. Okay. Even financial health, right. Your, um, you know, even your relationships, you prioritize your health. You create routines, schedules, and don't cancel. Number four is creating a mindfulness practice. Number five is all about consistency. There's no falling off, all right? You get straight back on and you do not give up, all right? Number six is all about support, all right? Having the right people around you, the right community, the right group, the right support system. And number seven is they know their goals. Number eight, they make a plan and they do it. Number nine, they are proactive and they make shit happen. And then finally, number 10 is they enjoy the journey and not just the result. Implement these in your life and I look forward to hearing how much has changed in your health. Big love.